Hi, hashtag crazy cat here with the beautiful Grandma Rose. And we're here to share a lesson on the tortoise and the hare. This is gonna be really good. So I think most of you guys have probably heard the story of the tortoise and the hare in school. But for those who don't remember, I'm gonna read it and then grandmother and I are gonna talk about the qualities of the tortoise, of the hare, and then also the disease of comparison, which is something that a lot of us struggle with. I know I have before. Okay, so the hare and the tortoise, an Aesop for children. A hare was making fun of the tortoise one day for being so slow. So imagine that, a rabbit making fun of a turtle. Do you ever get anywhere, he asked with a mocking laugh. Yes, replied the tortoise. I get there sooner than you think. I'll run you a race and prove it. The hare laughed, and he thought the idea of running a race with a turtle, but for the fun of it, he agreed. He thought, why should I waste my time? But okay, whatever, you little turtle, I'll agree. So the fox consented to be the judge, and he marked out the distance of the race. So they took off. And of course, the rabbit was way, way faster, right? Because he's just built that way, and he was soon far out of sight. And to make the turtle feel how deeply ridiculous it was for him to try to take a race, he was like, I'll just take a nap and I'll still beat him. Won't this be fun? So he lays down to take a nap. Meanwhile, the tortoise blinders on, keeps plodding along slowly and steadily. And after a time, he passed the rabbit who was sound asleep. But he kept on going. And the, when the, tortoise, the hare did awake, when the rabbit awoke, the tortoise was near the goal. And the rabbit tried to run as fast as he could, but he couldn't catch him, and the tortoise won. Isn't that really cool? All right, grandmother. So now we're going to talk about, why don't we start with the tortoise or the turtle? So what qualities did he display? Oh, he was very um, humble. Humble. And he was patient, and he was kind, and he was consistent. Yes. Humble, patient, kind, and consistent. So when the tortoise, the rabbit started making fun of him, he didn't let it get to him. He just said, all right, cool, let's go for it, right? Didn't let it bother him. Mm -hmm. And how about the rabbit or the hare? Oh, it was his pride, his ego, and being so confident in himself. Yep. So pride, so. ego, relying on his own physical strength to carry him through. And then laziness a little bit That's too, right? right? He was like, I'm going to show you and then I'm going to lay down and take a nap just because I'm going to gloat and show you how great I am. Yeah? So one thing that I think about too when I think about this story is the disease of comparison. And the fact that sometimes that when you're the tortoise and you're really trying to do things right and you're trying to take care of people and take care of your team and do things the right way, that you feel like the tortoise, but there's lots of hares out there yakety yakking off at you. And it's easy to let the disease of comparison stop you from going. But if that would have happened, who would have won? The hare. The hare. Right? But instead, the turtle the won, won. And everybody cheered. Thanks, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let the disease of comparison bug you. Blinders on. Keep going. Love ya. Call us. Oh, we love to chat.